thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. What is going on, guys? It is Xerxes coming today with another YouTube video. And today, we have the new Mutt Heroes 2 program, and we actually have Mutt rewards. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what we're going to get. So, we got two Mutt Hero Series 2 packs. So, we actually get two of those packs. We're going to save those for a second, and we also get a, gr a Gridiron Club reward. Starter 2 pack, we get okay, so we get two 84 NAT players, and it looks like we can throw these into any of the Ultimate Heroes. Of course, I'm going to go over the Ultimate Heroes, and I do believe that. During the Soul Challenge, you can actually get two free Mud Heroes. So that's definitely sweet. On to the Series 2. You guys can see 190 overall Series 2 Hero gets you 284s. Or actually, 984s. 1184s gets you a 90. And then, of course, we have the 91 overall Series 1 Ultimate Hero gets you 190 overall Series 2 Hero. So it looks like kind of a trade-in set you can do for the Series 1 and Series 2 players. But we have Kyle Long. I actually want to take a look at the set and see what we can, you know, need for this. So it looks like everyone will need a token. And then, of course, you'll need the wild card, which would be the Kyle Long Series 2. So then you'll need 24 of these Series 2 Sidekick players, and it looks like that's just how it's going to be. So we also have Carlos Dunlap. I noticed a lot of these guys, that, by the way, they also have two chemistries on them, which is absolutely amazing. They usually have a special chemistry too. Uh, it looks like, I don't think he actually has a special chem on him. I thought he did. Uh, I guess not. So it looks like Kyle Long has Pound the Rock, and he also has Go Deep. You guys can see the chemistry yourself. But Carlos done that for the Bengals. We also have Shady McCoy, Demarius Thomas. We also have Josh Gordon, Gerald McCoy. Did I say Gerald McCoy twice? I, I think I meant, I meant to say LeSean McCoy. Gerald McCoy, LeSean McCoy, Antoine Bethea. We also have Melvin Ingram, which, hold up. Antoine, okay. So it actually was, uh... Tyron Matthew, but I guess they actually changed it. Melvin Ingram, we also have Laurent Duvernay Tardif, Anthony Costanzo, Ezekiel Elliott, which you guys know I want to get him, Rashad Jones, Nigel Bradham, Matt Ryan, DeForest Buckner, we also have Janoris Jenkins, Calais Campbell, Demario Davis, Rick Wagner for the Lions, Clay Matthews, Luke Keekley with Read and React and Physical Front, we also have David Andrews for the Patriots, Derek Carr, Nickel. Roby Coleman, we also have Eric Weddle, Chris Thompson, Michael Thomas, Sha Shaquille Griffin, Roosevelt Nix, Whitney Merciless, then we have Delaney Walker, and finally Case Keenum. Now, I'll probably have a video coming out for you guys later today, and in that video, I'll give you guys my opinion on which ones I think are the best to do, but we also have packs in the game. Let's go check those out before we open up our Mutt Rewards, and it looks like the packs, we have our Mutt Hero Series 2 packs, and then the Psychic. So the Psychic contains one Psychic or Hero in four Silver Better players, and the Mutt Hero Starter 2, or Series 2, contains two Mutt Heroes players, Psychic Hero, Ultimate Hero, one Gold Better player, and three Silver or Better players. So let's go ahead and open up our Mutt Rewards packs, and we'll see exactly what we're going to get out of these. Hopefully it's you know really good but let's see what we're gonna get so starting off we get a ty mcgill elite 84 janoris jenkins okay what's next we get ourselves kawan williams and an 84 delaney walker so we got two of the 84 raw mud heroes for free definitely not gonna play we also have another pack so let's get into this one can we get something else besides just the 84 it's gonna be something good 84 to force buckner and 84 Rose Nova and 84 Zeke. So we actually got three of the 84s. So now we have seven of the 84 Rawls just like that. So I'm definitely not complaining about that. Getting them just a little bit closer, but I, I want to see if we have objectives maybe. We probably do. And we do. So Mud here. Oh my god, what in the hell? Okay. Complete each task turn a combined total of 500,000 coins and complete the list to earn an additional. 500k so if you do all 32 ultimate heroes you get yourself a million coins dang that is what's up that's crazy but for the mud heroes too if we take a look at the solo challenges we can actually see this you get yourself quite a few different things so you get yourself an nat series 2 defensive psychic pack you get yourself an offensive psychic pack a defensive and all uh, defense defense okay so i think all these are defense actually i don't know why i said offensive for that one but here you yourself a defensive hero fantasy pack. So I think you actually get to get yourself a free mud hero. I'm going to have to look on Twitter real quick because honestly, if that's true, 
That is definitely insane. So do we actually get ourselves a, a free Mud Hero? Or do we just get ourselves the 84 overall hero? I'm kind of confused about that. But I'm definitely going to be playing these solo challenges and maybe get them done today. Uh, if possible, I'll definitely have that video coming after you guys later today or worst case scenario, probably Saturday or Sunday. So we'll have to see about that. But hopefully, we actually do get ourselves a full Mud Hero from that. I'm, I'm going to try to find out if we actually do get ourselves a full Mud Hero. That'd be actually insane. But let's go ahead and take a look at the new Mud Heroes up on the auction block. And we'll see if we actually do get ourselves a full Mud Hero at the end. Mud Heroes 2. And... Okay, so it looks like there's quite a few guys. Um... Okay. So we have 84 Rosemont Vicks, 84 Rick Wagner, 84 Melvin Ingram as a left end? What? Okay, whatever. I thought that he was actually a outside linebacker, but I guess they switched the position or something. But let's take a look at the 96 overalls, as I'm sure they are already up. And we have Carlos Dunlap, which unfortunately I'm not going to be picking up because he's a left end. And 85 speed, so it's actually getting 90 overalls from the solo challenges, so I guess that's not too bad, actually. Well, you don't get the full 96 overall, unfortunately, but 85 speed, 85 strength, 89 excel, 96 tackle, 92 block shit, and a 98 funness move. He also has blanket coverage and toughness chemistry. That is definitely insane for him to have. Next up, we have Janoris Schengen and Shaquille Griffin. Griffin has 98 zone, 92 speed. That's Damn, good. Take a look at him compared to Josh Norman. Uh, one more speed, but that zone coverage plus two in that player is pretty freaking good. Then we have Janoris Jenkins, who is 93 speed, 98 man, 93 zone. Josh Gordon, which is definitely one of the guys that I might try to pick up. Compared to Calvin, even, you know, Calvin Johnson, he looks pretty good. 95 speed, 95 catching, also has himself a 93 looseness, 98 spec catch, 94 release, 90 round running, 92 catch traffic, and a 94 jump. He has go deep times two. And also toughness, so they're really trying to get you with that plus one speed. Then we have Zeke the Freak. Take a look at him compared to LT. 95 speed, 95 agility, 95 excel, 98 carrying, 91 spin, 91 elusiveness, 80 trucking, and a 94 juke. I actually have his team the weak card, so I'm not really too sure what I want to try to do with that. Then we have Nickel Roby Coleman, and it looks like he is 91 speed, 95 excel, 96 man, 94 zone, and a 98 press. Matt Ryan has himself 98 short, 90 medium, and deep, so not the absolute best. Keekly has 89 zone. How does he not have 91 zone? 88 speed, 98 play rec, 94 hit power, 96 tackle, 95 pursuit. Clay Matthews. This card might be pretty good, too. Take a look at him. Maybe he's better than Marcus Ware. 86 speed, 87 strength, 96 tackle, 97 play rec. Only has an 88 block shit, but he has 98 power move and re react times 2 with a 97 hit power. Delaney Walker, this card should be pretty beastly, 91 catching, 88 run blocking, and 98 catching traffic, dang, Michael Thomas, 98 catching, 93 catching traffic, spec catch, and route running with a 91 speed, then we have Gerald McCoy, who has 71 speed, but a 98 block shed, that is disgusting, comparing to Kevin Williams, I would probably take him over Kevin Williams, because that block shed, and then we also have ourselves. Laurent Duvernay Tardif, or Tardif maybe, I'm not really too sure, compared to Zach Moore, 98 run block, 92 pass block, uh, 88 impact, 94 strength, 77 speed, so he's probably better than, if, he's definitely better than uh, Zach Martin, 85 speed, 91 short, 88 medium, 88 deep, and a 98 throw on the run, honestly, Derek Carr's card is not looking too good, let's hit the refresh button and see who else is up, and it looks like these guys are actually going down in price pretty fast, next up we have Nigel Branham, 88 speed, 98 tackling with a 94 block shed. Kyle Long, this card actually might want to pick up here. Comparing to my left guard, Joel Batonio, I mean, 98 run block, 98 pa or 94 pass block with 93 impact, 96 awareness, 92 stamina, 77 speed with an 88 strength. That run block is absolutely insane. I wish he had moved the sticks, but we're definitely have to look into maybe picking him up. Whitney Merciless, 98 power move. Comparing to Ricky Jackson, 86 speed, 96 play rec, 94 block shed, that 98 power move is absolutely disgusting. I wish the chemistries were just a little bit better on some of these guys. I mean, they don't have, you know, the absolute best chems. But in terms of who I want to pick up, honestly, not too sure. DeForest Buckner, he has 93 block shed, 91 power move, 96 tackling, 96 finesse, 98 pursuit. He's definitely a pass rushing defensive tackle, to be honest. That's 
Definitely a pretty good card, but I'll have a video coming out for you guys later today showing you guys which ones I think are the absolute best to choose to do and which ones I think you guys should do. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and comment, and I'm going to be grinding out these solo challenges, trying to get those rewards for you guys, and I'm definitely going to be playing these solo challenges to try and maybe get myself even a mud hero myself. Not really too sure who I want to go with at this point, but I think I'll, you'll probably be able to get yourself a free one from all the solo challenges. I mean, right now, I have seven of the sidekicks I already need, and I just have to get the wild card guy, and then also an elite token. Now, of course, with the wild card guy, you actually get that from the solo challenge. That's definitely not too bad. You get a ton of free packs from playing the solo challenge. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.